Hey yo, what is poppin' poppers? In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at day one of London Toy Fair Fungal Pop Reveals. So let's get right into it. So just yesterday, Fungal's announced about 70 new pops for London Toy Fair. They do this every year. Um, I'm sure this is not just it. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming there's gonna be more reveals today. So I'm gonna be making another video tomorrow on that. So uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I will be posting more videos on all of the London Toy Fair reveals. But uh, yeah, about 70 reveals, probably more actually. So uh, yeah, in today's video, I'll be covering only day one reveals. If I miss any, let me know in the comments below. I'll put them in the next video. And uh, yeah, let's dive right into the video. So starting off, we have the DC Pops. These are actually some of my favorite Pops that got announced yesterday. Uh, they're all really well detailed and I'm super excited for these. So in the top left corner, we have Poison Ivy, Mr. Freeze, Two-Face, The Riddler, Penguin, Catwoman, and below the Catwoman we have 10-inch uh, Supersize Joker, and then we have a Deathstroke versus Red Hood, which actually I haven't seen anyone post it, I, I, I just found that one, and I went on Instagram, I couldn't find the Red Hood anywhere, I just seen Deathstroke, so that's pretty neat to find actually. Then we have a Hot Topic exclusive, Harley Quinn. Some of these, I know a lot of people are really excited for these, I'm personally super excited for the Joker and probably the Red Hood versus Deathstroke, um, but yeah, a lot of these pops look really awesome, the DC pops never fail to amaze me, they're always full of detail and always really awesome, but uh, yeah, there we have the DC pops. So next up, we have the Harry Potter Pops. Starting on top left corner, we have Harry Potter holding two wands. That's going to be a Barnes & Noble exclusive. Then we have Funko Shop exclusive, Harry Potter in Invisibility Cloak. Then we have Dumbledore, Harry Potter with Invisibility Cloak. Uh, then we have Draco Malfoy with Whip Spider on his face. Then we have Ron Weasley. Then we have Hermione with Feather. Then we have uh, Neville with Monster Book. And on the right side of the screen, we have uh, Voldemort with the uh, snake. I forgot what the name of the snake was. I think there's a specific name. If I'm, if I'm, if there is, let me know in the comments below because I, I completely forgot um i wrapped around him that's going to be a 10 inch pop as well as a dumbledore that's going to be a 10 inch pop as well and there's three uh pocket pops which is snape hermione and luna lovegood with spectacles that will be pocket pops these all look really awesome and there's also going to be a Voldemort versus harry potter i believe this is the final moment of the movie in the final movie uh their final battle but yeah, this wave does look really awesome. I will be picking up, hopefully, the Harry Potter with invisibility, invisibility Cloak. I cannot speak. And uh, maybe if I can, the Fungo Shop exclusive as well. Um, I haven't watched Harry Potter in a couple of years, so if I mess anything up, uh, let me know in the comments below. I apologize if I did. And uh, yeah, moving on. So next up, we have soccer slash football pops, whatever you call them. Uh, I'm not too familiar with these, so I apologize in advance if I do make any mistakes pronouncing their names, which uh, I definitely will, because some of these last names are really insane. Uh, so starting on the left side of the screen, we have Nogolo Conte. Then we have Kepa A. I'm not even going to try saying his last name. Uh, then we have Christian P. Then we have Bernardo Silva. And then we have um, Ederson. Then we have Sadio Main and Presnel K. Uh, some of those last names I definitely couldn't say, so that's why I just said the first letter of their last name. Name. I, I'm not even gonna try saying their last names because I know I'd butcher it really badly. So uh, yeah, these are the new football pops coming soon. Uh, I know the the football pops have a huge, huge, huge uh, liking, so I can definitely see these doing well. And uh, yeah, there we have the football slash soccer pops. So next up, we have the X-Men Pops. I know these are going to do really well. These look insane. These actually look really awesome. Starting on the top left corner, we have Rogue. And then we have Rogue Flying, which will be a Hot Topic exclusive. Below Rogue Flying, we have an Entertainment Earth exclusive, uh, which is a Glow in the Dark. It's the exact same thing as the common, which can, seen, can be seen on the left, which is Gambit with cards. And the only difference between those two is that one glows in the dark. And there's a picture of the one glowing in the dark on the right side of the screen where like his ability kind of glows in the dark. I don't know what to call that, really. I'm not too familiar with X-Men. But these look really cool. I know the X-Men Pops always do well. And I have to admit, the X-Men Pops are one of the best, uh, some of the best detailed Pops that I've ever seen, especially these ones. So I'm super excited for these. Maybe I'll be picking up the Glow in the Dark one if I can, because th that, that Glow in the Dark looks insane on that Pop. But uh, yeah, there we are, some of the X-Men Pops. So next up, we have Killer Clowns from Outer Space and American Psycho. Starting in the top left corner, we have Spiky, then we have Shorty and Jumbo. This Killer Clowns from Outer Space, there's also Slim in this line, which got released for New York City uh, Comic Con. Uh, these look really insane. I always, the, like, even the Slim looked insane. I really wanted that one a lot, but I just could never get my hands on it. But these ones, it looks like these are going to be comments, so I'll definitely be grabbing these ones. And then in the bottom right corner, we have American Psycho. Starting off with the one on the left is Patrick and Sweet with Knife and Suit, I think. It says Sweet on the app. Okay, yeah, it's Patrick and Suit. That Makes more sense i was kind of confused uh and business card i don't know too much about american psycho but uh that looks pretty neat and then we have a hot topic exclusive where it's uh patrick bateman i think that's his last name uh with axe and then there's going to be a chase hot topic exclusive where he's bloody um that looks pretty neat but the chase hot topic exclusives are really always hard to get so uh if you do want to collect this line i wish good luck to you and uh yeah there we have killer clowns from outer space and american psycho 
So next up, we have Black Widow and Star Wars. Starting in the top left corner, we have Han Solo, Carbonite. Then we have Darth uh, Vader in Meditation Chamber. Then we have Luke Skywalker with Tauntaun. Then below that, we have uh, Luke Skywalker with Yoda. And then to the, right, to the left of that, actually, we have Princess Leia. And then we have a two-pack of Han Solo and Princess Leia. Uh, these, do, these look really awesome. I'm not uh, too big of a fan of Star Wars, so if I mispronounce anything as well, I'm, I apologize for that. But these the Star Wars pops always look awesome. Like I said, I, I don't know too much about Star Wars. If I did, I would tell you more. And then on the right side of the screen, we have Black Widow starting on top left corner. We have Natasha. Then we have Black Widow. Then we have Taskmaster. Then we have uh, the Walmart exclusive Taskmaster, I believe. And then below that, we have Yelena. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I believe I am. Then we have Red Guardian. And then we have Walmart exclusive uh, Taskmaster and uh, Black Widow. The other one actually isn't a Walmart exclusive. That looks like it's going to be a common, actually, the one on top right. Uh, so it looks like they're just making two different variants of Taskmaster. But yeah, these pops also look really awesome. Um, I not I don't know too much about these as well. I know more about these than the Skywalker or sorry the the Star Wars ones. I just don't really know anything about Star Wars. If I did, like I said, I would tell you more. But Black Widow is going to be for the new movie that's coming out this year um, with her backstory, I believe. But uh, yeah, there we have Star Wars and Black Widow. So next up, we have Cyberpunk 2077. Starting in the top left corner, we have V Female. Then we have Johnny Silverhand, which he is kind of kneeling. Then we have V Female. And then below that, we have Johnny, Silver, uh, Johnny Silverhand, where he is kind of standing up. And then to the left of that, we have a GameStop exclusive Glow in the Dark V Male. Um, I don't know too much about this game. Um, I do know this was announced at E3 last year, I believe. And uh, Keanu Reeves is actually the main character, uh, Johnny Silverhand, which can be seen twice on the screen. But uh, yeah, I don't know too much about these pops. If I did, or the game in general, if I did, I would tell you guys more. But uh, yeah, there we have the Cyberpunk 2077 pop. So next up, we have Star Trek uh, pop. Starting on the left side of the screen, we have Michael Burnham, and then we have Saru. So there's only two pops for this line. I know Star Trek has a huge fandom, and a lot of people like the Star Trek pops, so I can see these doing really well. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe the actor that plays Michael Burnham is the same actor that played Sasha from The Walking Dead, which is why she would ki she was killed off a while ago. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty neat. And uh, yeah, there we have Star Trek. So next up, we have the Kraft and Hobbs and Shaw. Starting on the left side of the screen, we have the half, uh, the Kraft Pops. Starting on the top left, we have Nancy. Then we have uh, Sarah. Then below that, we have Rochelle. And then to the left of that, we have Bonnie. Don't know too much about those pops. I didn't. I have no idea if that's like a show movie or anything. I, I have no idea. And then on the right side of the screen, we have Fast and Furious, Hobbs and Shaw. Starting on the top right corner, we have Hobbs. And then to the left of Hobbs, we have uh, Shaw. And then below Shaw, we have Haiti. And then to the right of Haiti, we have Brixton with orange eyes. These look pretty neat. I, I have... I I've heard mixed feelings about that movie. I've never watched any of the Fast and Furious movies, but I know that they're really good. Uh, well, mixed feelings I, about the new one, but for the past ones, I've heard they're really good. But uh, yeah, there we have Hobbs and Shaw and The Craft. So next up, we have another awesome handful of pops uh, from Toy Fair. These are some of my favorite as well. Starting on top of the corner, we have SpongeBob. Then to the right, SpongeBob, we have Patrick, and then we have Squidward. Uh, these are all from SpongeBob on the Run. Um, these are, it, it, I believe, that's a new movie that comes out this year where Gary uh, goes missing and SpongeBob uh, and Patrick and Squidward team up to go find him. And um, I believe there's an episode actually in, in SpongeBob about this, and then it turned it into a movie. I might be wrong about that, but honestly, out of these three, I think Squidward looks the best. I don't know. We we don't have too many Squidward pops, so seeing another one is really awesome but uh yeah there we have spongebob uh and patrick and squidward from spongebob on the run so next up we have pixar's onward a uh, new movie which will be coming out this march i believe these actually look really awesome i definitely will be watching this movie whenever it does come out hopefully if i don't forget um starting on top of the corner we have ian lightfoot then we have uh barely lightfoot then we have manticore wild and lightfoot then below that we have unicorn which is a hot topic exclusive and there's a chase version which i believe is flocked and then we have uh barely or warrior barely uh barley is it barley yeah it's barley my bad um i was saying barely but that, that made no sense before uh it's barley um, but yeah, these pops look really cool. I don't know uh, too much about the actual story, but these pops just in general make me want to see the movie just because they look super cool. But once again, we have another Hot Topic uh, exclusive chase. Um, I believe there's two others. Uh, there was the Legend of Korra one, which we'll get to, and then there was one that I talked about previously in the video, which I completely forgot about already. Um, but yeah, the Hot Topic exclusive chases, I don't know how I feel about them. They're always really hard to get, and they always go up in value a, a lot, so it's really it really sucks for people that are trying to finish a line. Um, but yeah, here we have the new Onward Pops. These look really awesome. The mo new movie comes out in March, I believe, and uh, yeah. 
So next up, we have the Great Mouse Detective. Starting on the top left, we have Basil, Olivia, and Radigan. I don't know too much about these pops, but I know a lot of people are super excited about these. Um, I, honestly, I've never really heard about this. I believe it's a movie. I don't know if it's like a new movie that's coming out this year or a movie that already came out. I have no idea, but uh, these pops look do look really cool, especially the uh, Radigan one. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but uh, yeah, these uh, these look like they have official glam shots rather than like the, the sketches and stuff like that, the concept art. And uh, it does look like these ones will be coming out. So get excited for these. And uh, yeah, there we have the Great Mouse Detective. So next up, we have Adventures of the Gummy Bears and Wallace and Gromit. Starting on top of a corner of the screen with Adventures of Gummy Bears, we have Toomey, um, Zoomy, Groofy. Then below Groofy, we have Sunny and QB. I don't know if I'm saying those right. I have no idea what those are, but they look really adorable. And I know those are probably going to do well because th th that post actually got some of the most comments out of all the uh, Toy Fair reveals. So that looks like th those are some of the most hyped pops. I don't know. Um, I don't know too much about those, really, to be honest. I've never really heard of them. And then... We have Wallace and Gromit. I'm so excited for these. Probably my favorite reveal from Toy Fair this year. Starting on the top of the corner, we have Wallace, Gromit, and we have the man, the myth, the legend, Sean the Sheep. I'm so excited for these pops, especially Sean the Sheep. I want a Sean the Sheep army of pops. I want to have like eight Sean the Sheeps that I can just put on the ground and, and have an army of them or, or have a shelf specifically for Sean the Sheep. These look insane. But uh, yeah, there we have Adventures of the Gummy Bears. I don't know too much about that. Like I said, if I did know more, I would tell you guys more about that. And uh, Wallace and Gromit. So get excited for those. So next up, we have the Legend of Korra uh, Pops. Starting on top left corner, we have Glow in the Dark Chase Hot Topic exclusive Korra. This is the other Hot Topic exclusive uh, Chase that I was talking about. Um, it seems that their Funko is starting to do a lot more Hot Topic exclusive Chases. Like I said, I don't know how I feel about that because they're always really hard to get. Then we have Korra to the right of that. And below Korra, we have Amon. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And then to the left of Amon, we have Asimi Sato. I don't know if I'm saying that right as well. And then we have Mako. Um, like I said, if I mispronounce anything, let me know in the comments below because I, I don't know too much about this show all i do know is that this is the spin-off series of avatar the last airbender um but yeah these look pretty neat especially that one core on the top right that looks really well detailed these pops in general just do look really well detailed and uh yeah get excited for these so next up, we have Masters of the Universe Pops. I know that these Pops always do really well and people love this line. And I'm actually surprised that Funko announced these because I believe there's a rumor not so long ago that Funko lost the license for Masters of the Universe, but it appears that they didn't. So starting on top of corner, we have He-Man, Prince Adam, then below Prince Adam, we have Sorceress, and then we have Tongue Lasher and Cyclone. And then uh, to the right of that, we have He-Man on Battle Cat. Those look really awesome. Those are all going to be commons. So get excited for those. And then on the right side of the screen, we have Skeletor 10 inch. Um, uh, that's going to be the first He-Man 10 or sorry, not He-Man, uh, Master the universe 10 inch i believe and then to the left of that we have a hot topic exclusive metallic uh webster then below that we have a common webster which will not be metallic it looks like that the metallic hot topic exclusive has like a, a kind of darker kind of paint job done on him and then to the right of that we have mosquito i don't know too much about these but i do know that these uh the fandom for this is huge and a lot of people love the master of the universe pops and that when uh i believe the whole rumor thing happened after the buzz off when they stopped releasing uh master of the universe pops and that's what made everyone uh think that they lost the license but I believe there's a few pops before this wave that got announced and released. I might be wrong about that, though. I might be wrong about the whole license thing in general, but I do remember the rumors of Master of the Universe and uh, Funko cutting ties. And uh, yeah, these look really awesome. Get excited for these. These should be out probably later or early on this year, probably like May or June. So next up, we have the Dinosaurs Pops. I believe this is from a TV show. A lot of people were hyped about these, and then after doing a quick search, I can see why, because these Pops look exactly like they were taken from the show. The Pops and the detail done on these Pops is, are insane. So starting on top left corner, we have Earl, Fran, and then below Fran, we have Charlene. To the left of Charlene, we have Baby, and then to the left of Baby, we have um, Robbie. These look really cool. Um, I, don't, I won't be picking these up because I don't really know too much about these, but uh, yeah, get excited for these. So next up, we have Jessica Fletcher from Murder, She Wrote. This appears to be a show, and I don't know too much about this, mainly because the show was released about 36 years ago, so I definitely wouldn't know anything about this, probably. Um, but yeah, Jessica Fletcher from Murder, She Wrote. I don't know too much about this. If I did, I would tell you more. So next up, we have the Creep Show. Starting in the bottom right uh, corner of the screen, we have the Scarecrow. Then above that, we have the Creep, and then we have the Genie. These all look really awesome, really well detailed. I might be picking these up just because of the detail on these. I would love to see the actual glams of these rather than just the concept art. I would love to see these in person, actually. I believe there is a couple glam shots going around Instagram. Not glam shots, um, actual photos from Toy Fair going around Instagram uh, as of right now of the pops from Toy Fair. So if you don't want to see those, I'll put a couple links in the description below. But uh, yeah, there we have the Creep Show.
So next up, we have Fantasy Island Pops. This appears to be a movie that's coming out this year, actually. I believe uh, the release date for this movie in Canada was sometime in February. So st starting on the left side of the screen, we have Mr. Rorky, and then we have Tattoo. Don't know too much about this movie or the pops in general, the people. So I would tell you more. But uh, yeah, these pops uh, do be looking good, do be looking fresh. And uh, yeah, Fantasy Island. So next up, we have Pop Rocks. This is the first slide of the Pop Rocks. They decided to make a lot of Pop Rocks uh, for this year at London Toy Fair because these pops always do well. So starting in the top left corner, we have Willie Nelson. Then to the right, Willie Nelson, we have Lil Wayne. I will definitely be picking this one up. I, I'm super excited for this one. And then we have, to the right of Lil Wayne, we have Rivers Kumo. I've never heard of him, really. Um, it seems like a lot of people like him. I don't know. I've never really heard of him. Then below Rivers Kumo, we have Papa Nahil. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I believe I am. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if I'm saying that wrong. That's going to be a Hot Topic exclusive. That's from the same band as, as I believe uh, Papa Emeratus 2, which was released earlier on this year as well as uh, to a Hot Topic. And then to the left of that, we have Salt and Peppa. Salt's on the left and Peppa's on the right. And then to the left of Salt and Peppa, we have James Brown. Uh, that one looks really cool. I know a lot of people are excited about that one. Uh, but yeah, there we have the first wave of Pop Rocks. Moving on to the next... So starting on top of corner of the screen, we have uh, Shania Twain, then we have Easy e then we have Slipknot, uh, Craig Jones, Corey Taylor, and Sid Wilson. I believe there's nine members in that band, or like uh, a lot more than just three. So I'm surprised they only made three of them. Then below that, we have Motorhead, we have Warpig, Metallic, uh, that looks really awesome, and uh, Lemmy. Don't know too much about that band, I believe it's a band, or like a, a group, whatever. Um, they, they look pretty cool, Warpig looks really awesome actually, I like the idea of him making a Metallic. Then to the left of the Motorhead Pops, we have Slayer, which we have Jeff Hanneman, I don't know if I said that right, Tom Araria, Aria, and uh, Carrie King. Those look pretty cool, don't know too much about those. And then to the left of, uh, of uh, Slayer, we have ZZ Top, and something really cool about these Pops, which I'll get to in just a second, uh, first let me name all of them. We have Dusty Hill, Frank Beard, and Billy Gibson's. Gibson. Uh, now, something really cool about these pops is the two with the beards. Actually, the beards are flocked. Um, I, I don't know. I was talking to Tristan Top Pops yesterday about this, and he pointed that out, and I was really confused about it. And he was explaining that a main thing that they're known for is their really awesome beards. So Funko is actually deciding to make them flocked, which I thought was really funny. Uh, but yeah, there we have all the Pop Rocks pops. These are really awesome. Uh, there might be more coming today, but I doubt it because uh, it looks like they've announced a lot. So that might just be all of them. So next up, we have the Golden Girls and Agretsuko uh, Funkoverse. Uh, for the Golden Girls Funkoverse, the two main players are Dorothy and Sophia. Uh, I know a lot of people like the Golden Girls line, and I can see why Funko keeps on making them. And then for Agretsuko, we have Agretsuko, obviously. And then even more Funkoverse, we have the two Jurassic Park Funkoverses. We have Funkoverse, Funkoverses, Fun Funkoverse. Uh, on the left side of the screen, we have the two-pack with Dr. Ian Malcolm and T-Rex, or the Tyrannosaurus Rex, whatever you want to call it. And on the right side of the screen, we have the four-pack with three of the scientists, or three of the people from the movies and uh, a T-Rex as well. I don't know their names, sorry uh, about that. Um, but yeah, the two fun these Funkoverse look really awesome. I just wanna see someone who has every single Funkoverse, like a Funkoverse collection. That'd be really cool. Like one day of the FNAC of the week, you're gonna see someone that has all the Funkoverse behind them stacked up on a wall. That'd be really awesome to see actually. But anyways, guys, that's me for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like. I apologize once again if I mispronounced anything in today's video. Just let me know in the comments below and I'll fix it for next time. And if there's anything that I missed in today's video, just let me know and I will put it in tomorrow's video. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.